Good morning, afternoon, or evening, dear yogas, yogas, yogis at Yoga TX. This is Echo. I don't know how many times I've said that. This is like, this is the, the aftermath of so much dancing and so much sleepiness, which is perfect for the influence and the essence of today's practice. So the desire for today's practice, and it's so perfect that I made this imperfect comment, is, is imperfection and surrendering and being with what is. And sometimes we come to the yoga mat and we want to show up and we want to be fully on and we want to feel strong and we want to feel really good in our bodies. And sometimes we don't. Sometimes we feel uncomfortable. We feel uninspired. And so today's practice is about being okay with that imperfection on the mat and off the mat and just showing up and saying this too i choose like in this moment this thing that i'm experiencing that's not comfortable or it's not perfect or it's not beautiful we see the beauty in it the beauty in the imperfection and we say this too i choose so that being said we're going to come on to our knees let the knees go wide and we're going to sit back onto our heels in child's pose so stretch the hands forward, forehead to the earth, and you can bring the knees in just a bit to support your chest, but leave some spaciousness for your belly. Stretch the hands out. And just humbling ourselves to the earth first, bringing in a, an intention for your practice. What are you here for? Maybe simply presence coming into the body. Maybe it's to release something. Maybe it's to let something go. Bring something in. Slowly begin to stretch up, sitting back onto the knees. Stretch the right arm up, bend the right elbow, place the right hand between the shoulder blades, left hand back, and try to take a hold of the fingertips. So if this is difficult to open into the right shoulder, maybe use a towel, take a hold of your shirt. Let's open the chest, look slightly up, and you can kind of lean your head back into the right bicep. Take an inhale. Exhale, round in a bit, just a little bit. So we'll find some length through the left shoulder by doing this. Don't go too deeply. Let's take an inhale, open up, slight back bend, and then release. Shake the hands. And let's move to the other side. Left arm reaches up, bend the left elbow. Bring the right hand back. Try to take a hold of the fingertips. So this side's tougher for me. I have scoliosis. So you'll notice in any imbalance or asymmetry in the body, one side might be a bit more challenging than the other. And no forcing, no forcing. Like you need to be like this. Be more open like this side. And use assistance. If you need a towel, if you need the shirt, grab a hold. Open the heart space, breathe in and out of the nostrils, and be. Take an inhale. Exhale, round in a bit. And slowly let go. Shake the hands out. Flick, flick, flick. And we're going to come forward onto the hands and knees, but turn the fingers back towards you. And we're getting into the wrists here. So you can decide how far forward you want the hands to be or how far back the knees to be. And we don't want to hurt the wrists here. We're just getting a stretch into the forearms. And you can take tiny little circles. Little bitty circles. And move in the opposite direction. And come back to center. Turn the fingers in towards each other. And the palms are facing up. Take an inhale. And an exhale. Bring the chest down. Bend the elbows out. Inhale up. Exhale down. So little wrist push-ups. Inhale up. And exhale down. Inhale up. And exhale down. Come back up to center. Palms down, tuck the toes, lift the knees, press back downward facing dog. Let the head drop down. 
Slowly walk the feet forward to meet the hands. Take your time. Slow, slow, slow. Get nice along through the back line. Bring the hands to the lower back. Make a little fist and press the fist up behind you. So opening across the shoulders, getting long through the back line. And no, nothing to do here. We just release, let the head drop, let the neck relax. I disappear into a little cave with this top that I'm wearing today. It's laundry day, so this is all I've got. The imperfections. So many beautiful imperfections in our life on the mat and off the mat. In some way, I really like this little cape. It's taking me into my little turtle shell, which is nice. Let the hands come down. Inhale, come up halfway onto the fingertips. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise to standing, reach up. Exhale, hands to heart center. Again, inhale, reach, expand up, maybe onto the tiptoes. Slight back bend. Exhale, hands to heart, lower the feet. So we're gonna get nice and long again. Inhale all the way up onto the tiptoes, back bend. Exhale to the heart. Once again, inhale all the way up. Stay on the tiptoes. Exhale, slowly come down, balancing on the tiptoes. So like you're a diver coming down into the water, hands to the air, stand the tiptoes, fold in. Drop the heels down. Inhale, come up halfway, hands to shins. Exhale, plant the hands, step back to a plank position. Top of a push-up. Pull the belly in, sight rounding of the upper back. Stay here and breathe in and out of the nose. Inhale. Exhale, come down halfway, elbows in by the ribs. Inhale, forward to the tops of the feet, open the heart space. Exhale, tuck the toes under, lift the hips up, downward facing dog. Inhale, step the right foot forward, left heel down. Keep the hips square, inhale, reach up, warrior one. So pull the right hip back, left hip forward, deep bend in the right knee. Exhale, come down halfway, hands behind the back, make a fist and drop in here. Let the head come close to the right foot and make sure that your chest isn't resting on the right thigh. Keep that deep bend in the right knee. Inhale, come all the way up. Exhale, open up warrior two. Nice and wide, deep bend in the right knee. Hips facing the left side of the room. Strength in the shoulders. Take an inhale, flip the right palm. Exhale, reverse, right arm up overhead, left hand down the back leg. Look at the left ankle. Inhale, warrior two. Exhale, right elbow down, left arm stretching overhead. And make sure that the right elbow can kind of just hang in space because the core is engaged and we're not just leaning our weight on the right thigh. So we're staying in integrity, using our strength. Inhale, come all the way up, straighten the right leg, left hand down the back leg, right arm stretching up. Inhale, Arms warrior two, bring the left foot in just a bit. Stretch the right arm forward, right hand down to the right shin, left arm stretching up, triangle pose. To make this a bit more challenging for the core, stretch the left arm forward overhead, right arm forward overhead. Really engages the core. So if you're like, I don't wanna do that, bring that right hand back down to the right shin. Inhale, warrior two. Exhale, hands to the earth. Step back to plank. Lower halfway, chaturanga. Inhale forward, upward facing dog. And exhale, downward facing dog. Beautiful. Step the left foot forward, right heel down. Square the hips, reach up, warrior one. Exhale, hands to the lower back, and let the head drop in by the left foot. Keep a deep bend in the left knee. Integrity throughout the entire structure. Next, inhale, lift up, reach up. 
Open up, warrior two. Nice and wide, deep bend in the left knee. Strengthen the arms, press down through the feet. Deep breaths in and out of the nose. Inhale, flip the left palm. Exhale, reverse. And look at the right ankle. Inhale, warrior two. Left forearm down on the left thigh. Right arm stretching up overhead. Get nice and long through the right side body. Inhale up, reverse. Lengthen the left leg. Right hand down the back leg. Left arm stretching up and over. Inhale, warrior two arms. Bring the right foot in, surf the left arm forward, down to the left shin, right arm up. For more strength in the core, right arm stretches forward, left arm forward. Inhale, warrior two. Exhale, hands to the earth. Step back to plank, lower halfway. Inhale, upward facing dog. And exhale. Downward facing dog. <sighs> Walk the feet forward, take your time. Fold in. Take opposite elbows, ragdoll here for a moment. Feet apart, you can sway forward and back, side to side. And then come into stillness. dynamic movement, hands to the earth. We'll go through some sun salutations. Inhale, come all the way up. Exhale, hand start. Inhale, reach up onto the tiptoe, slight back bend. Exhale, diving down, stay on the tiptoes. Let it shake. Feet drop down. Inhale, up halfway. Exhale, plant the hand, step back to plank, lower halfway. Inhale, forward, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Use the core, draw the hips back and up. Walk the feet forward to meet the hands. Take your time. Inhale, come up halfway. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, hands to heart. Inhale, reach up onto the tiptoes. Exhale, dive down. Ooh, losing the balance. That's okay. Heels set down as you lower. Inhale up halfway. Exhale, fold, plant the hand, step back to plank, lower halfway. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, tuck the toes, draw the hips back and up slowly. Use the core. And downward. Slowly walk the feet forward to meet the hands. Take your time. Fold in. Inhale, halfway, hands to shins. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, hands to heart. Inhale, reach up, tip toes, back bend. Exhale, dive down. The slower you go, enjoy the imperfections. Heels sit down. Inhale up halfway. Exhale, plant the hand, step back to plank, lower halfway. Inhale forward, upward facing. And exhale, downward facing dog. Come down to the knees, sit back onto the heels. Hips over to the left, right hand down to the right side, left arm stretching up and over. Inhale through center, lower the chest, reach forward and move to the other side. Hips to the right, heel, right arm stretching to the left. 
And just keep switching sides in your own pace. Nice and long through the side bodies. Deep breaths in and out. Now you can stay here, or you can get a little creative and as you sweep to one side, come up onto the fingertips, press the hips forward in a bit of a little half camel pose. And again, you don't have to do this. For some of us, this might be a lot for the chest and the lower back. And just come up to your level. But we get into the groin, into the hip flexors. Find the perfect placement for where your fingertips want to set down. A few more rounds. And again, you can do it with the, hip, the hips down. You do not have to elevate. No pushing, no force. Let's slowly come back down onto the heels. And standing on the knees, tuck the toes under, and we come into a full camel pose. So hands to the hips. Staying here, take an inhale. Shoulders down the back, begin to look up. You can stay here or bring the hands down to the heels and letting the head drop back. Find your bus stop where you want to start and stop. Heart opening. And slowly coming back up. Keeping the toes tucked, sit back onto the heels. Hands resting on the knees. Focal point forward. And let's stretch the hands out in front of us. Bring the left hand to the right palm and pull the right fingertips back towards you. Right fingertips point down, pull them back towards you. Switch sides. And bring the hands up overhead, clasp the thumbs together, open the chest, slight back bend. Shoulders down the back. Focal forward, looking slightly up, finding your dristy, and bringing the hands down, pat the feet out. Come back onto the heels and sit over to the left, stretch the legs out in front of you for Pachimottanasana, forward fold. So let's take an inhale, lengthen up through the spine, and exhale, slowly fold forward. The hands can rest alongside you. Keep the spine straight, or they can be on top of the shins. Sometimes I like to bring the elbows softly right below the knees, palms together, and let my head rest on my hands. And for some of us, if you're upright, and this is a lot for your back line, don't force yourself to go any lower. Stay, place the palms beside you, rest. Chest up. It's fine across legged like seat. Sit up nice and tall. Take an inhale. Hands at the front of the knees. Pull the chest forward. Look up. Exhale, round in. Chin to chest. Inhale, pull forward. Back bend. And exhale, round in. Inhale. And exhale. Come back to center, hands to the top of the knees, and just begin to make some Sufi circles. Pressing into the tops of the knees, lowering the chest down, elbows pointing up towards the ceiling, and kneading into the thighs like dough. And just get some length through the side bodies. Let the neck go loose as well. Move in the opposite direction when it feels good. Last one. 
come back up to center. Bring hands to heart center, bowing head to heart. Nice long spine, sitting proudly in your body. Each day brings us new challenges, new triumphs, new feelings in the body. So just tuning in with what you feel. And remembering to be kind to yourself. No one is perfect. Nothing is perfect. In this world of social media and avatars and so much buildup of who we are and what we do and how we look, really be kind and loving to yourself each day. Your imperfections are what make you unique and give you a subjective experience. So take care of caring for your uniqueness. Bowing down to the ground, we say namaste. Thank you, dear yogis, for being here, for showing up for yourselves and your imperfections and your perfections. Mm.